Hey everyone, I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm Bart. I'm Gio. You're watching Ask, Ask the Feels. Today we have a question from Dank. Hey guys, when I was younger, I decided to shave my pubic hair and ended up with noticeable dark marks that have yet to fade. They make me super self-conscious, and I fear that my boyfriend will be turned off when he sees them. Do you guys really care? And is there any way I can get rid of the scarring? Scarring? She got scarred. Razor oh, burn? Yeah. No, I think she means like that. Because you know when you shave, there's like the hair. So you see like it, it looks darker because it's the hair that's growing. It's kind of like a five o'clock shadow. I think that's what she's talking about. But then she said I don't think so. I think she's talking scarring. about after she shaved, like it, it left some sort of dark pigment on her skin. You I've never heard that? that. I've never heard of that at all. I think she might be talking about that. Well, regardless if it's if it's hair that's growing that's still in that layer of your of uh, your skin, or if it's scarring, um, you can get that laser like removed, like just with laser. So for the hair, but if it is like a pigmented scar, I mean, I I, I don't know. Maybe you can consult your your dermatologist, your doctor. Yeah. They would really know. But as far as feeling like ugly or self conscious or all that stuff. Don't even worry about it. Majority of the times, guys are accepting of so much more than what girls are. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care if there's like a big ass. If your if your vagina was like spotted like a cow, I probably wouldn't care. Even if it's like just like random circular dark spots, or if you had a birthmark, or even if you had like a Chinese wart with the fucking hair coming out, I would just cut that off. Just see it like a beauty mark. Yeah, like I think I'm pretty cool with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Pretty much even like, like, That's awesome, like all the Thank vaginas you. that I've seen, even in the pornos, the roast beef, the nicely tucked in ones, all of them, I don't I don't think any of it really Because guys look at the whole picture. Yeah. Like, you know, they look at how the is she does she have a nice face, the booty, the legs, the boobies, everything. And they they don't like zone in on oh my god, these fucking little blemishes. What they're thinking is, oh my god, it's a pussy. Oh. <laughs> That's true. You're just happy to get it in. Yeah. So don't even worry about it. And there's all these other things that you can do cosmetically to save up for it. I think for me, the thing that if if I was a guy, the thing that I would look for um, in terms of things that I like and I don't like, I think I would prefer to have a spotted pussy and have it feel super smooth than like a beautiful looking pussy and then have it prickly as fuck. Or have it fucking stink. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Worry about stink. the hygiene. First. That's, That's true. If that shit smell like strawberry, but look like fucking Godzilla, you know I'm still eating that motherfucker. I don't care. <laughs> but if it looks like Godzilla, a, like like it, 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 it has like fucking, lizard skin like on the outside. It had fucking cuticles on it. And it had teeth like. Ar, ar, ar. But I'm still fucking it. I'm like, oh, this is different. <laughs> but if it's like. Man, if it looks amazing, but it smells like shit, I'd be like, can you take a shower? Yeah. You would tell that to a girl? Like, yeah. you're you're rock hard, she's super fucking wet, but it stinks. It's not like gonna shit. be rock hard for very long if it oh, smells like shit. Oh, true. Never mind. You gotta take a shower together real quick. When I was younger, I think, like, I was so fucking horny drunk that I didn't care about showers and all that, but now I'm more, like, older, and I'm like, yeah, um, go take a shower. <laughs> yeah, when I was younger, I was pretty nasty, didn't Yeah. Know? And then the girl didn't care either, or maybe she did, but she didn't say anything. Yeah, I wouldn't care. Well, maybe I do now. That's you true. probably do. When you're older and do. you've done it enough times, and now you want to do it when you're more comfortable. That's true. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because when I was younger, there was a time I remember where, like, I don't know how this even happened. I put the condom on, we were having sex, then I wanted to eat her out, so I pulled it out, but then now her vagina is condom. condom flavored vagina that probably has spermicidal stuff on it too. And I'm like, uh, now I'm eating fucking condom. And there's like pre cum foam from the fiction. It's just like a bunch, it's like a nasty ass mess. And I'm like, all right, from now on, now I know there's like the condom goes on last, and I'm never gonna touch the vagina after it's been condom flavored. <laughs> condom Damn, fool! <laughs> You look so dry, <laughs> Do you see his face? It was nasty. That's Sorry. so funny, dude. You're like, that explains a lot. <laughs> I take a shower before and after. Oh, that's good. That's clean. Wow. Yeah. That's responsible. And yeah, she calls it a horse bath. <laughs> horse bath. Wash away all the sins. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, there's time where he's like trying to eat me out or whatever when I've had like a full day and I don't feel comfortable because it's like you've like been walking. Yeah. <laughs> like, <yesterday. laughs> yeah like, like I just yesterday. fucking did my like I, workout and shit. Well, it wasn't that bad. But I mean, I had like been out and about the whole day walking around. It wasn't like the coldest day either. And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to do cold. you a favor. Like, let me fucking freshen up. He's like, I don't care. I'm like, dude. Like, I don't give a fuck. I want to eat now. that sauna. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it, you're good. Enjoy. Thank you for watching, guys. To stay updated on the latest episodes of Ask the Feels, don't forget to subscribe. And for the last video, click over here. This is crazy. Like, he is the love of my life. I do consider him my soulmate, but then at the same time, I'm like, holy shit, like, like, am I moving too quickly? Like, what, what's going on? Do I want to spend the rest of my life with this person? So I was just questioning, like, every single aspect of our relationship.